Good morning. Hey, 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 everybody. <laughs> um, so I am on my way out, but I wanted to pop in and um, say hello. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Um, I got a couple of things going on today. Well, nothing like really big, but um, I'm about to head out the house because I'm on my way to a travel clinic for a travel vaccine so i just want to pop in and tell you guys real quick so i am going out of the country i am super 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 excited um this trip has been planned now for some months um and i have 24 days left i'm not going to say where i'm going yet um but i will say this that it does require um, travel vaccinations and um, specifically the yellow fever vaccine so that's all I'm gonna say <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say for right now where I'm going requires the yellow fever vaccine and so that's what I'm gonna do um, this morning but I'm not gonna say where I'm going yet but if you guys have any guesses um, I would love to see them down below where do you think I'm going um, I just left out from getting my yellow fever vaccination. Guys, it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was so, so, so nervous. I was nervous. And I think they could tell because I was like talking, 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 talking so much. <laughs> Trying to calm my nerves, but um, it was not bad at all. So I got my yellow fever vaccination here in Charlotte at the um I'm looking, I'm in the parking lot still. So I'm looking over at the sign. It is the Carolina Express Clinic. And so in Charlotte, if you type up travel clinics or travel vaccination clinics, um, the only thing that I saw that popped up was either Passport Health. And Passport Health has, um, has a lot of options. They have a lot of offices um, all throughout Charlotte and um, the surrounding areas. But Carolina Express Clinic also offers the yellow fever vaccination and um, they match my pockets a little bit better. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I went with them and I'm actually really happy that I did because they were super, super friendly um, and patient with me and taking the time to explain everything. But okay, so let me tell you. So if you are traveling um, and you're going to a, a um, travel clinic for your vaccination, they will do a, um, a consultation with you. And so the consultation is basically just to sit and talk with you about where you're traveling to. Um, they're going to ask you questions about... Um, I'm sorry, car is like backing up and it was a little bit too close. <laughs> but um, they're going to um, ask you questions about like your accommodations, where you're going to be traveling to, like what type of activities you're going to be um, doing, who you're traveling with. They're asking all those questions because they need to know if maybe um, they need to recommend any additional vaccinations for the area that you're traveling to. So um, just to make sure that you're, you know, that you're safe and that your your body and your immune system is covered for what you're about to encounter. So, um, you know, and they also go over like um, what medications you may currently be on, um, any health issues that you may currently have, um, um, allergies, everything like that. And it's just to make sure that um, you're properly covered, like I was saying. So after they do that, they also um, let you know about the area that you're traveling to, um, if there's any um, environmental things that you need to be concerned about, um, how to, um, you know, food concerns, like where I'm traveling to, you want to be um, cautious about the water, um, consuming water, making sure that you're drinking bottled water, um, making sure that your skin is protected, um, things like that. So you'll have your co your travel consultation first before you get the, um, the CDC required vaccination for the country that you're traveling to. So um, where I'm traveling to, I only needed the, um, uh, there were several recommended vaccines, but the only um, required vaccine um, to enter is the yellow fever. And so, um, yeah, I got it. It was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Guys, I don't think I've ever seen these before. Here's some Dunkin' Donuts cereal. I have the mocha latte and the 
caramel macchiato. And Audi has those for two forty nine. And some red velvet cookies. They also have the fog broth and the ramen broth. So the fuzz beef flavored, let's see, with onions, ginger, fish, fish sauce, Asian spices, and then a ramen chicken broth with hints of sesame and ginger. Those are $1.79. And then we also have these noodle packs, red curry and green curry, but then also we have the um, ramen noodle packs. So let's see, this is the white ramen, and it looks like there's a couple of them in there. And then, and then they also have the brown rice ramen noodles as well. So you can put together your own ramen. Um, bowls or five bowls um, and these are two dollars and eighty nine cents so they have these um, for like your k-cup um, your pure coffee makers but they have a peach bourbon that sounds good there's also a vanilla bourbon and then a cinnamon bourbon coffee it looks like there's about like 18 cups of each they also have these i've never seen any seen these before. You have the Tabasco barbecue sauce, original. There is a habanero, oh that sounds good, habanero jerk barbecue sauce and a jalapeno mesquite barbecue sauce. So here's what the candles look like outside of the box. It's a really pretty heavy glass and they actually smell pretty good too. Um, and the candles are, I think these are like an eight ounce candle as well. And the single wick. They have these um, pretty candle boxes. This is the old fashioned. And they also have these cranberry fizz. I thought these boxes were really pretty, especially if you wanted to give it to somebody as a gift. Um, but these are their cocktail candles for $5.99. I think this is new this week. I'm not sure if it's new this week. I haven't been to Aldi in a while, but it's new to me. Here's a few more of the candle options. I like the jar on this one. This black one is really nice too. A 20 piece meal prep set. And you get 10 containers and 10 lids. That's really good, guys. I can't tell you how many times I bought those and I still run out every single time. They just never make it back home when people take them to work. <laughs> All right, guys. So I decided to go ahead and get my groceries um, after getting my, after leaving the travel clinic. So um, I just left Aldi and now I'm in line at cookout i got a trunk full of groceries <laughs> and stuff that i was like okay i'm gonna go home and cook this but it didn't quite happen that way because when i walked out of aldi you can smell like cookout it just hits hit your nose as soon as you walked out of the store so um let me show you like how close uh cookout is to aldi let me show you real quick and i'm in this line this line is long too i need to take my behind home so, but let's see aldi right there across the parking lot there's aldi and then is cookout <laughs> like right here so yeah okay so let me show you this is the menu before the order menu just so you can kind of know what you want before you get up there and they'll be holding the line up but look at all those shakes see that there's so many different milkshakes over there i want one that was so bad but i'm not i'm not i'm trying to i'm trying to be good whoa and i say that and i'm up here in this line right <laughs> But just in case you don't know what cookout is or you've never been to one, I just want to show you guys the menu real quick so you can get an idea of everything that they serve. So here's what I ordered. I just got fries and a burger. Um, I ordered the, the regular tray meal, which comes with um, your main choice and it also comes with two sides. So the fries was one side. And then the other side was um, I chose was walking tacos. I just thought it was going to be like a simple little taco. I did not know that walking tacos were um tacos in the doritos bag like what <laughs> i gotta open that up let me open that up real quick and show you guys okay so this is what a walking taco is i guess i am late i did not know i did not know but that's kind of that's kind of cool though right so all of the taco stuff is in mixed in with the doritos in the bag so i guess that makes sense for why it's called a 
walking taco. <laughs> and I also got a cheer wine float. So basically, you know, like your root beer float, but with cheer wine soda instead. So I'm gonna eat this and then go home and put my groceries up. All right, so back home um, from all of our errands today. I think I'm done going out for a while um just because with the trip coming up i really want to make sure that i'm not like risking myself being out and stuff like that getting sick or anything so um got my groceries which lasted me for a little minute um and oh by the way guys the cookout was so good i regret nothing <laughs> i regret nothing um the burger had a really good amount of onions on it i love raw onions on my burgers and my hot dogs. So I had a really good amount of onions. That um, that walking taco was actually pretty good. Um, it was just all of your taco stuff in the Doritos bag. And I honestly could have just got that and would have been happy. And um, my cheer wine float. <laughs> this is not a float. This is a cup of ice cream. Like literally this entire cup is filled with ice cream and it probably had a drop of cheer wine probably no more than like a quarter of a can <laughs> a quarter of a cup of cheer wine is in here there's a ton of ice cream so um yeah but it's good though but before i show you the groceries let me show you these aren't those so pretty the um tulips these are 10 tulips um 10 stems in each pack and it was like four dollars and 49 cent so i'm gonna um take my old flowers out <laughs> Those flowers have been up there since my birthday and my daughter's birthday. So a month now, we're gonna take those out and um, freshen up the flowers um, for them. So I like to grab these um, packs of mussels from the frozen section um, in Aldi. I get from Aldi. Um, I've gotten them from Lidl before, um, Publix. It doesn't matter, they're, they're, they taste the same everywhere to me. But they're like $2.50. And this is the um, mussels in tomato and garlic sauce. And then this one is the garlic butter sauce. So I like to just put them on top, um, on top of the stove in a, a pan and um, just saute them until all of the mussels open up. And I put it in a bowl with like some um, crusty bread. It's really, really good. So I always like to keep these in the freezer lately because they're like delicious. I love them and my son loves them as well. Um, let's see what else. Okay. I grabbed these because I don't know. <laughs> it just sounds so good. So this is the bacon um, mac and cheese bites. Like seriously. <laughs> So um, I don't have any reason for it. It just sound good, it look good, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try that out. So you guys already saw the broth, and so I picked that up. I don't know. I just picked up this pack of stir fry um, to make a meal out of as well. This is the Szechuan stir fry. And then because I didn't have any in my pantry, and every time I need some, it's not there. So I was like, let me finally grab some brown sugar, so. All right, I got some spinach for my smoothies, some green onion for some soups or anything. I also picked up some broccoli, picked up this bag of mini um, sweet peppers. I wanted some limes for the pho, but also just for anything else we need limes for. We, we go through them a lot. And then also I just grabbed two, just only two um, mangoes. These were 59 cents each and these actually feel like they're just about ready. I grabbed some dates. I love dates, they're super sweet. Um, I like to add them into my smoothies. Sometimes I just like to snack on them, especially because I have a sweet tooth, okay? If you don't know that by now, I have a sweet tooth. Sometimes I just crave something sweet. So to keep myself from getting in trouble, <laughs> from getting in too much trouble, um, I grabbed these pack of dates and I also have some honey roasted peanuts. I needed some more instant packs of oatmeal. Yeah, I needed some more honey. I've been out of honey for two days and that is two days too long. I go through a lot of honey and I, I normally buy like the um, the 16 ounce, but it's not lasting long enough because I can go through, I really can go through a bottle of honey um, that size in like a week, a week and a half. So this is a 24 ounce. Um, it was a little bit more, but I'm hoping that this lasts me until it's time for me to leave for my trip. Okay, got some more goodies. <laughs> so they have these, um, the latte cream cookies. This is like the Aldi version of Oreos, but that sounds pretty good, right? So I got the latte cream 
and then I got the pecan shortbread, which is like the pecan sandies. So, um, yeah, those are going to be good. I needed some more garlic, and normally I buy like the, the full um, bulbs of garlic. I didn't feel like peeling them this time, and I use a lot of garlic. So, um, I went ahead and just bought the pack of peeled garlic. It's a little bit more, but it saves some time and frustration. So, I got that. Picked up some sliced mushrooms just for meals and, um, you know, whatever I need mushrooms for. <laughs> also picked up some blackberries. I like to have those. My daughter likes them as well. And uh, some bananas. These are going to sit out for a while, but that's okay. I just buy these to go into um, my smoothies. So I just peel them and put them in um, a container and just let them freeze so that I can just pop it right into my smoothie. So I'm gonna let those um, ripen just a bit. And by the time these ripen, the ones that I already have in my freezer, I should be done with those by then. And I can just, you know, replace them with those. Um, I needed some cilantro because we we go through a lot of cilantro. Um, I need to, I think I'm, this year I probably will just grow some so that we can always have some um, on hand. Uh, some more ginger. I like to keep ginger for um, my teas. You could put a little bit into your smoothies, but mainly um, I like to make this um, shot with um, ginger. I like to do garlic, um, some lemon juice, some honey, and um, some cayenne pepper and um, just take a shot glass worth of that. If you're not feeling well, you feel like you're coming down with something, um, your throat is hurting, whatever it is, like it, it's really good. It's also good for inflammation too. So a shot of that a few times a day when you feel like a, a little bug is coming on, it'll do it for you. It'll definitely do it for you. Okay. I also picked up some sweet potatoes just to roast off and just have either with a meal or sometimes just by itself and they had um, the blood orange um, kombucha here are the noodles I was already showing you guys in the store and I also picked up um, some non bread to make some pizzas with so I'll just put these like on my um, pizza sheet just put the same toppings that you would put on it for pizza and just bake it that way. And there's four, you see? Yeah, it's four in the pack, so that'll be good. Um, some more snacks, some jalapeno uh, kettle chips. And because my son bought some the other day, um, he bought the, like, the actual um, name brand um, pita chips and I was like, man, I haven't bought any pita chips in a while. So I went ahead and bought my own when I got the Aldi brand. Um, the Aldi version is the Parmesan and garlic herb, um, pita chips. So probably will go ahead and snack on that, um, in a bit. <laughs> and then I just picked up some, um, peanut butter crackers just to have on hand. And is that, no, this is the bags. Oh no. Okay. Then I also um, grabbed some cream cheese. Uh, I probably would do like a brown sugar and cinnamon um, cream cheese spread um, with some of my sweet potatoes just to have as a, a quick little snack. I bought um, the fresh mozzarella. This is gonna be for my non-red pizza. And these are already sliced. Oh, okay. So this is the jalapeno artichoke dip. Um, it has Monterey Jack cheese, onion, and garlic, and I bought that to go with those pita chips and also to go with the um, mini bell peppers. And we're just about done. I just bought a piece of salmon for myself. You know, if I just feel like cooking it one day this week, I will, or next week. Um, but yeah, this is just not even a pound. It's a little piece of salmon. And some um, ground beef. So let me show you these flowers. They're so pretty. Oh, I love them. Okay, so I just um, I just had I already had this um, this vase base vase. <laughs> I already had that. I picked it up from Walmart for like four or five dollars. Um, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy they had these today in Aldi. And this is really full. And what did I say? They were um, $4.58, $4.98, I can't remember. But um, $15, I bought three bunches, so $15 to 
to have this nice, beautiful, like full arrangement on your table or wherever you want, your, your bedside, on your kitchen counter, in your office. I mean, wherever, but this is so pretty to me. So I just wanted to show you guys real right, quick. guys, so I just wanted to close out the video here um, for the third time. <laughs> it's my third time trying to record it. But yeah, I just wanted to close out here. I wanted to say thank you so much for um, tuning in and coming along with me today. Um, just, you know, I know it's not a recipe video, but I did want to like talk about that as well. Um, that I hope that you are enjoying me incorporating um, a little bit of like just everyday life or things that are not recipes because you know like reality is is that I don't I don't cook every day <laughs> so as much as I would like to bring you guys recipes you know several times a week um, I can go an entire week without cooking um, just because life is just not that way for me anymore you know like you guys know my kids are all grown and stuff like that so I don't always and I don't want to um, prepare something that's not going to be eaten or that I don't have anyone home to eat it or you know I just don't want to cook things just to be cooking if I'm cooking it it's because I'm eating it and I'm, I want to share that with you guys so yeah but um but as far as like the travel preparation videos if you enjoyed this let me know and as we get closer to the trip I think we have 24 more days as we get closer to the trip, you know, if I pick up stuff along the way or if I have some other information to tell you and you want to just like be in on the prep process, then um, I'll be more than happy to add those into videos like this, like this vlog ish type video. Um, but <laughs> and then of course, when I'm there, which is what I'm really, really looking forward to is having those 10 days of um, that I will be there experiencing something that I've never experienced in my entire life, but also too that I can share that with you guys. So, all right, well, I hope that you, um, what is today, Friday? It's Friday, I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you on the next recipe or vlog. <laughs> all right, take care, bye.